What's up everybody? It's your boy Clayton Philpo here. Now before we start the video, I just wanted to touch on something I'm introducing which is a weekly newsletter. It's free, it goes straight to your email, so if you want updates on like little things that don't make it into videos, things about the Marine Corps, working for the Air Force, uh, anything that you guys want but I can't fit into a video that week, I'll put into the weekly newsletter. Uh, like I said, it's free. So if you guys want to do that, check out the video description below and it's easy. Just click on the link, sends you right to the page, put in your email, done. Weekly newsletter, video description. I'll wait. All right, so back to the main video. This topic is something that I didn't really like know how to talk about. I mean, obviously, hopefully you know, I am no female. I do have these like gorgeous eyelashes though. I will say that, look at these. You see that? Insane. They're crazy. But I do know a thing or two about the regulations for females at boot camp. The talk right now is about males and females coming together in the same platoon for boot camp. People are all fired up about it, but it's not that big a deal. In fact, the Marine Corps is always the tip of the spear when it comes to new stuff. I mean, this goes all the way back to African Americans joining the military, women joining the military. Like, the social norm at the time was no way. No way are we going to let them in. And then, no way are we going to let them in our platoon. There was segregation. And the same thing is kind of going on with women in boot camp. Now, the naysayers are all like, yeah, but they're all going to be having sex, and there's going to be all these inappropriate relationships. That's not the case. If we really wanted to do it at boot camp, you'll find a way. I mean, come on. But really, you're there to become a Marine, and that's all you're there for. Oh, they're going to be on their period that day, and then everybody's going to die. I mean... That might make them a more savage killer, but you're gonna be fine, I promise. First off, when they combine males and females at boot camp, obviously you're not gonna be sleeping in the same squad bay. You'll be on different floors, different decks, right? So top deck might be the males, and then bottom deck will be the females, and there will be 24 seven fire watch to make sure no funny business is going on there. There, boom, problem solved. Marine is a Marine is a Marine, right? So males and females, it doesn't matter. You're going to serve with both of them. So suck it up. Now for the females, you might be wondering, like, can I be on birth control at boot camp? And the answer is no. You actually cannot have birth control at boot camp. Now, I know that there are plenty of very valid medical reasons why birth control is, like, very necessary, you know? A lot of guys think, oh, it's just for getting pregnant. Like, no, it's not just about pregnancy. I mean, there's acne, mood, regulating cycle, like all this stuff that goes into birth control. But for whatever reason, the Marine Corps just does not allow any prescription medication at boot camp. Like that's their across the board rule. And I'm not sure why really. Here's the really freaky part. You're under so much stress at boot camp that you don't get your period. Like for the most part, I would say like 95% of females will not get their period at boot camp because they're under so much stress that their body reacts and does not go through the whole period cycle prod process thing. You know, I'm a guy. I'm a guy, okay? But I do know from multiple female Marines that they don't that they just don't have their period. They're under too much stress. And when that stress kind of like gets, you know, let up and you become a Marine and everything goes back to normal, in the last couple of weeks of boot camp, they actually take you for a health and wellness exam at like the little uh, Marine Corps, Navy, hospital annex thing. And at that point, they prescribe birth control for you. So if you want birth control, you can absolutely have it. Uh, there's many different options. You know, there's like NuvaRing, there's the pill, there's all those different things that you can have. And you know, again, I'm no female, but I do know this much. You can't have birth control. You probably won't get your period anyway. And when you finally do like get your body back to normal and you're not under all this stress, then they go take you for a checkup and you can get prescribed birth control by the military for free on the military's dime. At that point, it's a medication that you, you know, go through. It's every, every, you know, whatever. It's an uncomfortable topic. All the guys right now are probably like, why am I still watching? Uh, but yeah, it's a real life thing. Birth control, boot camp, no go. How weird is that for me to go ask all my female Marine friends? Like, hey, talk to me about your period at boot camp. Yeah. I'm doing this for you guys. Okay, but like, what if you're one of the few women that actually do get their period? Like, what happens then? Don't worry, they supply tampons, pads, all that stuff. It's like, given to you. Like, it's in a supply closet. If you absolutely need it, you can absolutely have it. 
do not, do not, do not bring tampons or pads or anything to boot camp because apparently the drill instructors will like scream at you. I don't know why, but that's what everybody tells me. And that's pretty much it. At boot camp, you cannot have birth control until like the final weeks, but don't worry, 99% of the time, you're not even gonna have your period anyway. There's just too much stress. But on the off chance that you do have your period, they will provide tampons and pads for you. Again, in the final weeks of boot camp, they take you for a health and wellness checkup, and there they can give you a prescription for the pill, NuvaRing, whatever, you, you know, that, good stuff. Guys and girls, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up, share the channel, subscribe to the channel, sign up for the weekly newsletter. It's going to be great. I just need your buy-in. In the video description down below, click on that weekly newsletter, sign up, you'll get updates, and uh, yeah, this has been great. Life is good. Oh, and if you want to write me while you're at boot camp, my address, my P.O. box is in the video description below. So if you go to boot camp and you necessarily don't have many people to write to, send me a letter. I'll send you one back. Uh, we'll keep you motivated out there. All right. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you later.